The time for you, my little friend, modding time. Hey guys, it's awesome that you're tuning in. So we're back with a new Arcade 1UP modding video and this time we're going to do something different. So in my previous video I slapped some Raspberry Pis, Pandora's boxes and I went wicked mode and slapped a completely new gaming PC in this machine. But I was thinking, hey, some people were requesting something different today, so let's take a close look at something else. Because this is going to be more like something different I've never done before. We're going to take a close look at the Super Console X PC Supreme and we're going to put this bad boy inside an arcade machine. We already talked about Super Console X, but this thing brings it to the next level. It's still running on Botasera Linux, this is in my opinion very stable and very easy to plug and configure in your arcade machine, or arcade one up in this case. But we can do so many great things. That is the reason why we're going to put it in this machine. I'm going to make a remodeling video of my arcade one up. We're not going to use the original controller, but what we're going to do is we're going to use some encoder boards because that's a cool thing with this device. It supports a lot of different encoder boards and controllers of course, but we're not going to need it. Beside the point, this system is super compact and super easy to install. It also comes with a quite good specifications, a super powerful Xeon processor, an Intel HD 530 GPU, 8 gigs of RAM. It comes with a 2 terabyte disk, completely installed with Botasera Linux. Nevertheless, when you're plugging this machine in your arcade, this is going to be the next level, if you ask me. But I just want to quickly point out, if you want to have an easy plug and play solution, a Pandora's box can also be a very cheap solution. We have quite some different versions out there, take consideration, depends of course what kind of version you're having, like the latest version having great menu, quick load, quick save, and some of them can even add some new games, but they are limited. And that's the reason why I like the Supreme Console X version, or this mini PC. And if you want to have something between the Pandora box and this expensive PC, Raspberry Pi is also a very great solution. The Pi 3 is great, but also the Pi 4. Of course, the Pi 4 is more powerful and will give you some better emulation performance when it comes to the higher end stuff like Sega Dreamcast. But nevertheless, the Raspberry Pi, take consideration that it's not super cheap, but you need to also have some knowledge how to install it in combination with the new image, how to add games and how to do all this stuff. But it's still a very cheap solution when you compare it to the PC. The first thing that we need to remove is of course the main board that contains the games and also having an input for the control panel. We're going to replace this with something different like more like a conversion board specially made for this monitor. Because we can't do anything with that original board. Now we can plug in an HDMI cable and with a Pandora box we can use the VGA if you want to. I have the first generation of Street Fighter 2 arcade one-up cabinets and these buttons are freaking horrible. So we're going to remove this black box or protection case and what we're going to do is basically removing all the buttons and the joystick. Because with my build I'm going to use standby joysticks and lighter buttons. The next thing that we're going to need is of course an encoder board. This is the same like with the Raspberry Pi. I recommend getting a good one like a zero delay. But also you have quite some different options here. We're having ones from 5 euro up to 25 or 35 euro or a universal fighting board for 100 euro. I would say just get yourself a normal version. If you want to have a turbo function, take consideration that you need to look up for a board that has this. A universal fighting brook board is all great, but it's overkill and I would not recommend it. Just get yourself a cheap one, maybe around 20 euros is more than enough. I like these because these are more like the Xbox 360 encoder boards and most of the time these work plug and play on devices like the Supreme Super Console X PC. We also have a cheaper version, I really like it. If you're going to use two of them, I recommend getting more like an encoder board that already supports two players or get two different ones, otherwise you can have a conflict if you're going to get the same two encoder boards. Did notice it with previous builds.
So this is the deluxe version of the Xbox 360 version. And I can say that if you want to have more like multiple joysticks, more buttons, this thing is super deluxe. But if you're just having more like a six button layout, it's a little bit of an overkill if you're going to use this in an arcade one up. Okay, next up, I remove all the buttons and the joysticks. I already mentioned I'm going to use Samurai joystick for the best performance. I recommend if you're going to get Chinese buttons, at least get a good Samurai clone or just real Samurai joystick. These things are freaking expensive, but you will get a very pleasant arcade experience. But I assembled two Samurai joysticks and I can tell you that is the best choice I've ever made. Simply because the buttons are okay, nice light up feature, but the travel is quite long. Well, and overall, I had a very nice experience with these buttons. For cheap Chinese one, not bad at all. For the audio, you can go with more like a two speakers and a Chinese amplifier. Another great way and a super cheap way is, of course, get yourself an amplifier like this. These things are around 50 euro. And I must say, the audio itself is not bad at all. But another way you can go is just get yourself an old Logitech kit. I bought this one for 50 euro from a thrift shop back in today. Super cheap, we're already having a subwoofer with an amplifier. The only thing you need to do is more like a little bit of soldering, hook up the extra speakers that you're getting. Don't buy too expensive phones because it is a very tiny amplifier inside. But when you're going to put everything together, you got an amazing sound. You have this more like a subwoofer inside the casing. There's going to be a lot of great audio. As you can see over here, we're having two speakers, just the GVC I've shown you before. You can volume control, turning the subwoofer on and off, just super basic. But if you're going to have a little bit of an overkill like me, I personally put the two speakers on the bottom plate of the arcade up because this is the thickest plate and do all vibration. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of noise that you don't want to. Okay, so everything has been set up. Don't mind the cable spaghetti. It is more like an unfinished product. Better said, it's more like a project that will be never finished because I'm always changing and modding. But the final result looks nice. At the front, we're going to get some extra buttons. If you want to configure more like the mode button, in my case, if you want to put them on Xbox 360 mode, I can do it with both at the same time. We can add some turbo functions. So extra buttons are always very handy. If you're going to use a PC, by the way, it's always recommended that you're going to get yourself a tiny keyboard that you can wirelessly connect with your PC. If you need to go in configuration mode and you can't use your arcade joystick or a normal joystick, you always have an extra keyboard that you can use. And these things are freaking cheap. Okay, so the subwoofer is ready, audio is ready. Uh, we have everything connected like the PCB on the monitor. The only thing we need to do is, of course, open up the machine and put in the Super Console X PC in it. So guys, it's time for the cable nightmare because we're going to need to assemble a lot of cables because the only thing that was inside was, of course, the subwoofer. Here we're having the Super Console X PC edition. Okay, so let's grab it out of the box. I'm going to put it in the case itself, but there is always a mounting bracket with it so we can mount it somewhere. Okay, we need to have, first of all, the 90 volt power supply that comes with it. Yeah, cable nightmare. But for now, I'm going to put it next to the subwoofer. Okay, so let's plug in the power. The next thing we need to connect is the encoder boards and of course an HDMI cable for the signal output. Okay, so let's plug in the encoder boards. Just going to use the USB at the front. We can also use them on the back. It's all what you personally want. All right. Next up, let's plug in the HDMI cable. And we are ready to go. All right, so I just need to point out for the audio, you can plug it straight into the front port of the Super Console X. I didn't do that in the video over here, but there are different ways. And of course, depending what kind of audio you're going to have in your machine. Um, yeah, because of the weird resolution of the Arcade 1UP monitor, because it's still the original one, getting this weird screen. But when it's booted up, everything looks like it should be. I really like this hyperspin lookalike, but this more of course personal taste. Okay, the first thing that you need to do normally is going to configure the controls. We're going to do it now. Let's go to controller, configure controls. All right, only connected one gamepad at the moment. Okay, so let's hold the A button. And what you need to do is basically go up, down, left, right, start, select. Configure the A, B, X, and Y. And we don't need this. 
that's more like if you're having more buttons you can configure the, these buttons of course but in my case i don't have those only thing that i'm going to configure are the l1 and r1 take consideration uh, don't forget to check the hotkey function uh, otherwise going out of the game can be a little bit tricky all right so one done that's it and we're ready to go to play some games Okay, so on my second channel, I will do a completely overview of all the systems that are on it and also a game list in the end and some other testing videos regarding this box. But if you're going to spend quite a lot of money on a PC to build in a machine like this, what well, is really convenient that you can now play the games that you couldn't before, like Killer Instinct. It doesn't run on a Pandora or a Raspberry Pi 4 stock. Nope. You can run it on a Super Console X PC with any problem. MAME has a way better support like games like Tekken 2. You name it, it can play it. So PSP is a great example that this will not run on a Raspberry Pi 4 or in any Pandora box at the moment I'm making this video. And with a PC like this that has a lot of power and a lot of potential, run this game just without any problem. Yeah, okay, and a little hiccup, I don't see this like a big problem. So if you're looking at more like the low power system, especially the Pandora games 3D, it is still most of the time playable, but you will notice a lot of hiccups and a lot of stuff going on that it is not normal and basically ruins the gameplay in my opinion. And with this, it works very well. N64, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, GameCube, oh man, you can play so much with this box. I just want to give you a quick overview of some games because I already did a full review about the box itself and on the second channel I will do more emulation testing for you guys so you can see the performance of this box. But in general, I think it's a pretty cool way and a very easy way. It's just plug and play and again, it's not a very cheap solution because these boxes are very expensive. But the thing what you're going to get for it is that you're going to get a machine that runs all the stuff way better than all the other machines I've reviewed before like a Pandora box or a Raspberry Pi 4. So guys, so there you have it, the Super Console X PC inside an arcade machine, or in this case the arcade one up. I'm not the biggest fan of the resolution of the original screen and so far I know there is no easy and cheap solution to swap the monitor, just leave it like what it is. But if you want to have more like way better games to play and you want to have more power, this is one of the ways you can go. It's a very expensive way, but in my opinion, don't have any limitations. The Pandora Box Raspberry Pi are just great ways to go, but always there is something that will not run on the system. But this mini PC has so much potential compared with an other device and MAME. It's so cool to play all these MAME games. Take consideration, I didn't do a super modeling with my RK1 up. There are people out there basically remodeling the full control panel. And in combination with a good encoder board, you can play basically everything. And you can make more like an 8 button layout with awesome things. Just want to keep it original. I just want to keep it basic with a better PC inside. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become on the Wicked family and if you have any questions leave it in the comments 
And don't forget to check out the full review of the Super Console X PC Supreme.